Does it feel different to be up there without a rope? It's obviously like much higher consequence. People who know a little bit about climbing, they're like, oh, he's totally safe. And then people who really know exactly what he's doing are freaked out. I've thought about El Cap like for years, and every yeah. year I'm like, that's really scary. I'll never be content unless I at least put in the effort. El Cap is the most impressive wall on Earth. It's 3,200 feet of sheer granite. It's the center of the rock climbing universe. Obviously, I get interview questions about it all the time. Oh, would you like to do that? And you're like, yes, for sure. So you're a girlfriend now, I heard. It's awesome. <laughs> Pretty much makes life better in every way. It's really hard for me to grasp why he wants this. But if he doesn't do this stuff, he'd regret it. Everybody who has made free soloing a big part of their life is dead now. I haven't been injured in like seven years. I suddenly start getting injured all the time. What if something happens? <laughs> what if I don't see him again? I could just walk away, but it's like, I don't want to. I've always been conflicted about shooting a film about free soloing just because it's so dangerous. It's hard to not imagine your friend falling through the frame to his death. I think when he's free soloing, that's when he feels the most alive, most everything. How can you even think about taking that away from somebody? No mistakes tomorrow. It's starting to get kind of psyched. If you're pushing the edge, eventually you find the edge. I can't believe you guys are actually going to watch. Hey, Jimmy, do you copy? Just started climbing.